Growing up, we had heroes we looked up to. Whether it was family members or fictional characters, there was character traits we aspired to have. When I look at inspiring characters, I can care less if it's a man or a woman, or what race they are. To me, it's not about what's on the outside, but what's in the inside. I care about what's inside that person and what they do with it. The gender, race, and nationality is a bonus. That could help those who share that similarity, but again, it's a bonus. The main focus should be what that person does that aspires us to do great things. Representation in media, or in this instance, video games, is important to many, but is it really? Is it a deal breaker? Is it a must have? Is it something that goes above everything else? As for me, an Irish, German, Dominican, Puerto Rican, vision impaired gay man, I can honestly say growing up, representation was never on my mind, even to this day. When I play a video game, I don't care about the gender or the race. I care whether or not the game is good or not. Is the gameplay fun? Is the story and characters any good? That's what's important to me. I don't need companies to look at people like me as marketing tools, as someone easily manipulated by that virtuous word, representation. I get it. It's great to see people in media that look like you. There's nothing wrong with finding that appealing. But the way it's handled is the real issue. Gender swapping and race swapping characters is not a win. It's a slap in the face. Instead of using existing characters or making new characters, these companies rather do a switcheroo to get easily manipulated people to cheer on. And it works every single time. Why not demand better? Why not ask these companies about dormant characters? Why not ask for original characters? Are you not good enough to get original characters or have existing characters get the spotlight? Are you okay with hand-me-downs? The people that do this nonsense weaponize these characters whenever anyone speaks out. They have no argument or logic behind these tactics. So instead, they will label you a racist or a sexist, along with many other buzzwords to silence you. Look at it this way. If Blade or Black Panther was race-swapped, you would be okay with it? If Charlie's Angels were gender swapped, you would be okay with it? Think carefully as to why fans, actual fans, of beloved series would be bothered with characters drastically being changed. If race or gender truly doesn't matter when these changes occur, then you shouldn't be bothered in the slightest if that happens to something you enjoy. When you bring logic and facts to support your argument as to why the need to gender swap or race swap a character, they'll more than likely ask you, why does it matter so much to you? Why are you so bothered? <laughs> they are correct, but they're asking the wrong person. They should be asking themselves that question. Why does it matter? Why do you care so much that you would go out of your way to change the gender or race of an existing character. Don't you think it's time to demand better? Are you not tired of being looked at as an easy target? Are you not tired of being fooled? Are you just willing to take whatever they give you, no matter how mediocre it looks? Does representation matter that much to you that all it takes is the gender or skin color to make you feel good? Does the person's actions not matter anymore? Does the person's character not matter anymore? When does a person's character and actions get represented? Why can we focus on that? Or is that too much to ask? Maybe it is. In a world where people lust over dividing one another, what kind of representation are we really getting?